In this tutorial, you will see how to import UAT single sign-on users. Open the template, fill in the sponsor name, trial name, inform version you are using and select yes or no for SSO. Click the get started button. Several sheets become available to you based on the previous selections. Select the user role tab. Enter the new roles in the inform user role column. In the role required drop down list, select applicable or not applicable for each inform user role to set which ones will be used in the study. Click the populate user roles button. Click OK. We recommend that you save the template at this point, so you do not need to repeat these steps for future imports. Select the Inform 6 to Rights and Roles tab. Fill in the role type and rights for each user. Open the UAT Users tab. You need to fill in all the fields for each user who requires access to the UAT environment. Make sure that the product locale is set to English, United States or Japanese, Japan as it is configured in UMT. The preferred study locale must match the trial configuration settings in UMT. Contact your Oracle project manager if you need guidance. Not setting these correctly will cause the import to fail. Click the Create UAT Users button to run a macro that will populate the required fields in the Site Users and Sponsor Users tab. The users were created. Click OK to confirm. Select the Site Users tab. The rows corresponding to each UAT user have been populated. To validate that the data you entered is ready to be imported into UMT, click Validate. Click OK. Next, you will repeat these steps on the Sponsor Users tab. Select the Sponsor Users tab. Click Validate. Click OK. Your template is now ready to be imported in UMT. The data entered in the Site Users and Sponsor Users tabs will be imported in UMT. The UAT Users tab is used just to add the user's details in the template. 